happy Halloween. I am the one known as Sailor Moon. And he is just a guy. <laughs> I made an Eddie Grim Reaper. <laughs> sure. Close enough. And today, on the most uh, festivus of Halloween festivities, <laughs> I'm trying to remember what the holiday is called, okay? Halloween? No, the one in Halloween. We're talking about Halloween today. Sam, yes. Sam Hale? Sam Hain. I was close. Anywho, the story of uh, the movie Halloween is about a very disturbed child. Michael Myers. Who kills his sister and then gets locked away in an asylum. And everything was hunky dory for a while. For like 18 years. Until he broke out for reasons. And unfortunately, he had been totally training that entire time because he's berserk strong. Yep, he's strong. He's uh, able to take falls and shots and be fine. And he has another sister that he just has to murder. Running around his uh, William Shatner pale mask. Yeah. With the very creepy music and... Yeah. Creepy awesome. <laughs> the first Halloween movie was a very simple... I think low budget movie. Yeah. Everyone kind of provided their own stuff. And yeah, it was. I, I like it just because it is that simpler time where not everything is too graphic. And it's also one of the sad things where it's one of the more realistic movies. If you overlook the whole, oh, someone escaped from the insane asylum. Well, okay, it's people. Like anyone in your town can do exactly the same things that Michael Myers did in the first movie. Except get shot and fall off a balcony and then get up and murder more people. Well, that's what the second movie was about, where you find out he's a friggin' immortal. The first movie, you thought everything was, you know, done. But yes. He, uh, hunts down... Why am I so bad with names all of a sudden? Jamie Lee Curtis and her friends? Yes. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is, is the lead heroine who spends most of it screaming. The Scream Queen. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. She and this investigator detective guy take down... Myers, except they look out the window and he's not there anymore. Dun dun dun. And the first movie ends with Jamie's character being put into an ambulance to be carted off to a hospital. And oddly, coolly enough, the second movie starts like right there. And then everyone at the hospital gets murdered. Yes, he follows the ambulance and her. And you get to see all these stupid teenagers. <laughs> yeah, far too many teenage nurses are hanging out. Doing stupid shit. Yeah, having sex, doing drugs, whatever. <laughs> Getting murdered. It's also a new thing. Like, I didn't know you could die from air in your blood until that movie. Because I'm pretty sure that's how he kills one of the nurses. It's either that or he stabs the needle into her spine. I'm not sure which. There's a needle that goes into an eye at some point. No, he, like, lifts her up oh, with okay. it. It's terrifying, but... I've only seen both of the movies once. And I didn't see them until after I was 18. Her fault for exposing me to such things. Yes, because you've never exposed me to anything. Ever. Yeah. I've seen so many horror movies, and somehow I had always bypassed the Halloween franchise. Yeah. So, we all know that I am not a big fan of uh, scary movies at this point. But I did see this one before him. I saw at least the first Halloween with a high school friend of mine. His parents had invited me over, and they turned off all the lights in the basement and sat us down on the couch that was not too far from the TV, and we watched it, and I was terrified. <laughs> and they recounted the tale of the first time they saw it, which was... They were on either their first or their first couple dates, and the husband had said that he'd go warm up the car while she was hanging out with her friends, and he waited underneath the car and grabbed her legs and scared her. So, that was fun. <laughs> they got married somehow. Yeah, yeah, they did. <laughs> um, I don't remember if I watched uh, the second one with them or if I saw that one on TV since, is it TMZ or... 
One of those channels that always does it every Halloween. Mm -hmm. AMC normally. There you go. Scream Fest or whatever. And uh, then I saw the third one, which was crap. And I started the fourth Halloween and I never finished it. I saw the third one when I was a teenager, but uh, that's not a real Halloween movie. <laughs> no, well, it's a Halloween movie. It's just not the Halloween series movie. <laughs> yes, completely separate from the rest of the series. Yeah, it's weird. And I know there's more. There's like Halloween H2O and blah, blah, blah. I haven't seen all any yep, of those. I haven't seen all the uh, Supernatural thriller ones or the remakes. No, I have not seen the uh, Rob Zombie one. I'm told it's good, though. Mm-hmm. So, I'll have to do it eventually. But. And if I remember, there was some reason why Myers had to kill on Halloween and it had something to do with Sam Hain, and I don't understand it. I believe he's possessed by either the devil or just a uh, demonic harvest spirit, and during Halloween, Sam Hain is when it actually has control of him, and the other, like, 364 days of the year, he's just a catatonic loser. I have no idea. I don't remember. At least that's what I learned from Halloween 2. I don't know how it actually goes in the rest of the franchise. It's just like, what has he been doing for the past, you know, 16 to 18 years? Like, every Halloween, does he just spaz and they sedate him? They don't explain that. <laughs> he wasn't ready. He just broke out that one year. And then oh. never went back. Anywho. And that is the story of Halloween. <laughs> Yes. As told by Major Motion Picture Cinema. Yes. Though, a funny thing in the second one is uh, there's like a kid at the beginning who's like trick-or-treating or something. I can't remember exactly. And he ends up in the hospital where Jamie Lee Curtis's character ends up because there was a razor blade in his apple. So he had a hole in him. It took me two viewings to notice that. Because I'm like, why do we care about this kid in the hospital in the first time? And then it's like, oh, because he's at the beginning of the movie. Ha, uh, I get it. <laughs> That's why parents check their candy. <laughs> so they say. I know, you don't. <sighs> he doesn't like my jokes. Your joke's all right. Because I recently saw the, uh, Adam ruins everything on poison Halloween candy. I know. <laughs> It's like, it's not a thing until it happens. <laughs> and then parents will be sad. I was informed. My mom is Facebook friends with a lot of weird people. And nice people. People. We'll just say people. Anywho, that there was an internet hoax going around this morning that people were putting pot gummies in kids' candy. Nope. See, most people were like, no, that's not a thing. Why would you give up your pot? <laughs> Why would you give it to children when you could have it for yourself? But, yes. For some reason, that hoax was going around. Because they're trying to give kids the reefer madness so they'll get addicted to cocaine? Yay. That's how drugs work. Totally. Just ask the Attorney General. <laughs> Let's not. Um... I don't think we have anything else about at least the Halloween movies. Nope. Is there anything about Halloween the day you want to talk about? It is a day full of candy. And if you live in North Dakota, it's also a day full of being very cold to get candy. Yes, there there is like powder snow in some places right now. But I distinctly remember as a child dressing up and then having to put snow pants on. <laughs> because there was so much snow on the ground. I figure now that I'm, as soon as I became old enough to not trick or treat anymore, we stopped having snow on Halloween. Yeah. Most Halloween nights haven't been too bad the past uh, decade or so. Yeah. And we got lazy this year, so there's just a bowl outside with a sign that says, please take some. Well, we'll see if any of that is left in the uh, <laughs> end of the evening here. That's why it's a cheap dollar store bowl. So yeah. if someone runs <laughs> off with it, I'm out of buck. I remember when Keith and I were trick-or-treating and it was uh, below zero with like three or so inches of snow on the ground and we made it several streets and it was towards the end of the night and we got to one house that just had a whole bunch of starburst in a bowl and it was like, take one. And Keith just like, this is the last house and he dumped the uh, bowl of starburst in our bags and it's like, let's go home. 
That's mean. I was like eight years old. I was never like that. Keith had it handled. I was never like that. <laughs> I was, ask my mom, I was always a well-behaved child. And as much as I hated it, I let her go through my candy and take out the best candy for herself. And then I got whatever was left. She was checking you for poison. And then I hated doing the candy trade at school. I never liked that barter system. I'll trade you three of these for one of these. No, I just, let, let me have my candy. My school didn't do that. I don't think we were supposed to. <laughs> it was like the black market of candy. <laughs> And then I remember I trick-or-treated even into my teens because a lot of my friends had younger siblings, so then I got to be one of the chaperone people, so. Free candy. <laughs> yeah, I, the last time I trick-or-treated was in 11th grade because I got dragged along by other people who still wanted to go trick-or-treating. And uh, most comments I got were, aren't you a little old for this? <laughs> I think I stopped around 9th grade and I became the hander-outer of candy. I never got invited to Halloween parties. I wasn't cool enough. I'm still not cool enough, but yeah. We have our own bag, our bowl of candy, and I don't need other people. That's okay. You didn't want to go bobbing for apples anyway. No, I have never done that. The bucket of other kids spit. Yep. <laughs> I also have a fear of drowning, so I'm never going to... I think I was at a game or at a place where they did bobbing for apples, and I just took the apple out. It's just like I'm not doing that. <laughs> Drowning, rickety ladders. No, I don't like that stuff. Never done a Halloween party except for uh, college, for Eric's class. Oh yeah, uh, our campus has a first year experience program where you can. If you're a, a second year or over, you can be a mentor to first years. So uh, I was a mentor one year, and our friend was a mentor one year, and we had Halloween and Christmas parties and stuff like that. But Nachos and chili and candy and cookies. Back when I baked a lot. That was back when we were 20 pounds heavier. <laughs> Correlation. <laughs> yes. I still bake a lot, but I do bake... I don't know, it's not quite healthier things. More conscious things? I don't know. I don't make four batches of cookies at once anymore. Nope. And you're not double fisting them anymore. <laughs> I don't know. Is that enough boring stuff? Oh, probably. Okay. Eat some candy. Yes. I hope you all have a happy Halloween. Don't find razor blades. Bye. Bye.